Okay, what we've got here is a 2010 uh, Cadillac SRX Premium. And what we're going to be covering is how to remove the front bumper cover. Uh, this should apply to all uh, trim levels from 2010 to 2013. Basically all the second generation uh, SRX models. And uh, so let's pop the hood and get started. There are several different reasons that you may need to remove the front bumper cover, such as uh, fog light, access in the fog lights, the headlights, um, or any number of other modifications. Um, uh, for this particular instance, we're going to be replacing the uh, lower grill here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the upper grill has already been replaced. Uh, with the updated 2013 style and so we're just going to be installing the matching lower grill and that's why we're pulling the cover off today. After you pop the hood open, the uh, first step is going to be removing uh, the push clips uh, that hold this uh, front plastic or top plastic cover on. Uh, there are six of these little push clips in total which you can just uh, use a little flat blade screwdriver to pop them off. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what you're going to want to do is this little gasket here uh, is held on by little plastic barbs that you can just slim, sip, simply slip off. And there's one, two, three, four of these little plastic barbs. And then uh, you'll only want to remove it back as far as the seam goes uh, on either side. There's a seam. Only, only remove it back that far, uh, and then you can simply uh, remove this whole cover and leave this seal in place. Now there are two clips, uh, plastic clips right here and right here that have already popped loose. So once you remove all the push pins and dislodge those clips, uh, this simply uh, pulls off. The next step is to remove ten, or I'm sorry, six. 10 millimeter uh, bolts uh, like these here uh, from the this top of the bumper cover. One, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one down there. It's also worth noting that if you are uh, watching this video to replace the uh, top grill here, uh, you'll also be, need to drill out a uh, rivet here and here. Uh, to remove this uh, uh, grill. Um, I've already done that last time around so now I have these push clips uh, in place of the rivets that were there. And uh, if you're not removing the grill uh, from the front bumper cover these can stay in place uh, while you pull off the front bumper cover. Okay next we're going to uh, pull the screws out of each wheel well that hold the front bumper cover on. Um, I find it necessary to cut the wheels while you're working. Uh, this gives you enough room to access the screws and you may have to cut them back and forth a couple times to get to all of them. Um, we're on the passenger side right now of course and there are a total of six of these little guys here. These are Phillips head screws and so there's six of those on the passenger side and so there's going to be one all the way back here two three and then moving up four five and six now on each side there's also one of these uh one of these little bolts it's a uh, 932 and it is kind of hidden. Bear with me here. Once you get your six screws off this side uh, and you can pop this loose and that little guy is going to be tucked right up in here. Let's see if I can get the light on that. Right up there. Kind of hard to see. but. That's where that little guy is. Basically, it bolts this to this, and it's straight up in there. 
uh, let's go check out the driver's side. Here we are on the driver's side wheel well. There's only five of the Phillips screws on this side. We've got one, two, three, four, and the fifth one's back behind the tire. I'm not going to cut the wheel again, but it's back there. And then again, you're going to have a bolt that lives right there that after you pop this cover off, Ah, on this side it's a lot easier to see what I was trying to show you on the other side. That's where that bolt went, was right there. And we've got one more final step before we can pull off this cover. Down underneath, there are three more of the 10 millimeter bolts just like the ones that were up top. So, let's see. There's one. Get the camera to focus. The second one over there. And a third one on the other side. So you'll need to remove those. Now we're ready to actually pull the front cover off. This is where having a second set of hands is extremely helpful, but not necessarily uh, required. So, first we're going to pop this loose on each side. What I like to do is stick an old rag here to keep it from riding up there and scratching it. And then just work our way around. gains us access to swap out the front or the top grill, bottom grill, and a whole mess of other stuff. Okay, this is what the back side of the bumper looks like. And if you're replacing the top grill, there is little tabs all around it that you have to release. And for the bottom, it's pretty much the same little tabs that you release like those and with the bottom grill it looks like we've got two of these push clips along the top. 